Hey guys, I'm Mike and you're watching the Wooly Bug YouTube channel. If you are a regular subscriber here, then you'll know that over the past couple of videos I've talked about the Trout Roots app. And I wanted to take some time today, hopefully five minutes or less, to cover my top three reasons that I like to use Trout Roots and why I think this app is beneficial to you as you research and plan to go out and explore wild brook trout streams like I do on Wooly Bugged. So my number one reason for using trout roots is the app's ability to streamline the upfront research process. So for me, historically, that looked like having a computer, either a desktop or a laptop, and my mobile phone, and I would have multiple web browser windows open. And one browser window might have my state designated trout stream map. My other might have PDFs or Excel spreadsheets open for stream survey data. I might have a USGS web page open to look at stream flows. I might have a public versus private land map, a topo map, a state park map that shows camping or parking. You get the idea. And anybody who does this will sympathize with that. It's very time consuming. It's even more frustrating when you can't find the information you're looking for. And what Trout Roots has done is they've simplified it by giving you a map in the app that you can layer on top of. So I have that foundational map of Pennsylvania. With the tap of my finger, I can overlay public access points. Where can I go to a bridge to get into a stream? Where can I park in the state game lands? to get access, where can I get on a trail that'll take me across the mountain to where I need to go? Where are those tight topo lines that allow me to understand descent for going into a drainage or getting out easily? These are critical data points that you typically have to draw from so many places that they put in one place with a tap of a finger. It's so nice to have that, even the real-time stream gauge information, not having to constantly jump over to USGS's website it's great, and that is why it's my number one reason. My number two reason is the ability for trout roots to bring your fishing maps offline. And this is huge because majority of the places I fish for wild brook trout in Pennsylvania tend to be very remote, and I'm losing cell phone signal. And what I would do is I'd either have to take paper maps with me, which are bulky, and when they get wet, they're ruined, or I take my iPhone, and I'm using Google Chrome and the GPS feature that allows me to see basically where I'm at, but it doesn't give me the fine detail I need, like topo lines, like the names of tributaries or exactly where they're at. And when I got out there and I'd lose cell phone signal, if the game plan had to change, I would be in trouble if I hadn't screenshot things while I was in the research process. Trout Roots comes along and allows me to take very detailed map info, layered map info that I've researched, that I've made notes about, and bring that offline so that when I'm out there, I have access to the same information as I had when I had a cell phone or internet signal. And that is a huge benefit to me as well. It means when I need to make a plan B, and make adjustments in the middle of my trip, I can do so. And it's been a huge time saver and backup plan saver. So that's number two. My number three reason is Trout Roots offers the ability to document your findings within the app. And that's great because what I would typically do is come home from a trip and I would have to take the time to open up a Word doc or an Excel spreadsheet put in the name of the stream, all the information and experience data, and it would be things like the width of the stream, the length, the number of fish caught, where they were caught, um, GPS coordinates, et cetera, all things that in the future might help me be able to go back to that place at the right time with the right conditions. Trout Roots gives me the ability to document those things within the app, including pictures, including notes, and it's like a nice little fisherman's diary right there in the app. And super, super helpful tool. 
The thing that I really like, they went a step further and they said, hey, we're gonna take a stance and not allow our users to share any of that documented information like pictures, like stream coordinates or location coordinates out to social media. So you cannot share from Trout Roots out to Facebook or out to Twitter or out to Instagram. And I like that because I feel like that's where things would move into a place of spot burning. All their other information, is publicly available. They've just created a tool that assimilates it all in one place, but they won't take that step to what I would be considering spot burning. And I like that they've taken that stance. Trout Roots has many other features. Uh, they have information about fly shops. So like if you're out running around and you need to stop to get gear or you wanted to hire a guide to better understand how or when to fish, they have a lot of fly shop information in there and it has a lot of neat filtering tools as well. So I would encourage you to consider trout roots in your next planning session. See if it saves you time. You can download a free trial version. I have personally connected with Zach, their CEO. He's a good guy. He's a fly fisherman. He's building this as a tool to help you. They have a lot of great upgrades coming over the next 12 to 24 months that are going to make this app even more powerful and I think it's just going to get better. Also, I really like that Trout Roots this year made a commitment to Trout Unlimited. They're giving a percentage of their annual revenues back to Trout Unlimited to promote clean water and conservation of trout. And I also think that was really a right step in the right direction to make sure that everybody understands they're committed to this sport, they're committed to trout and they're committed to doing it the right way. So again, consider Trout Roots. I appreciate you watching Wooly Bugged. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to address them and or pass things back to the guys at Trout Roots so that they can answer them. Uh, especially if you have features you'd like to see, etc. So thanks for your time and I'll see you on the next episode.